Markle has spent $35,000 on a new Invictus Games wardrobe, including seven jackets. Yes, oh yes, though Megan is going there apparently only to support Prince Harry as he promotes the Invictus Games, it's clearly also the Meghan Markle fashion show because we have so much fashion, some very, very expensive fashion and some interesting insight into why Meghan Markle continues to be an epic disaster for the Invictus Games. Meghan Markle should not be at this promo event because what she does is make it entirely, entirely about her wardrobe because every news article goes in that direction. And this instance is absolutely no exception. Her fashion was front and center. And of course, you will notice there are some key things missing. So we are going to go through Meghan Markle's Invictus Games wardrobe with the first look of this three day tour. And that is her Calvin Klein puffer coat look. This is a very beige look again for the woman who said that she could not wear any color in the monarchy because she was worried about clashing with the other royals. And yet all she seems to wear anymore is beige colors. So Another little tick, which is probably a little bit of a lie there from Megan, but we've got this first outfit. We've got a Calvin Klein puffer coat at a very reasonable $300. We have this co cashmere neck sweater, which is a little less affordable at $675. She has these sorrel footwear that she got several years ago, and she has a Burberry knit beanie, which she made sure everybody knew because this was actually reported by Elizabeth Holmes that this is the beanie that Meghan Markle purchased and had previously worn while dating Harry. And I think it's this particular beanie in this picture. And I am a little bit off because this picture was taken when Meghan Markle was at the airport, but I believe it is the same beanie. You can't totally tell. The other instance, I thought it was a beanie. It didn't have the little pom-pom at the end. But again, it could have been one of the reporters there, but it also seems like it's something that Meghan Markle's people would definitely let their reporters know. Hey, look at that hat. Remember, Meghan wore that while dating Harry. Yeah, remember that? Remember that? She, again, is obsessed about her media, her media image, all these sorts of things that she would remember that. And then she has these blenders, sunglasses, which are a affordable $64. So I will say overall, this outfit is rather affordable compared to some of the others that we will see. And I think it's actually her cutest of the occasion. Now, I do think it's interesting, my mom actually pointed this out, that she did make sure to unzip her jacket, even though all the men had their jackets zipped up because she wanted to make sure, of course, of course, we get a look at her outfit. Because again, this is not about the Invictus Games, guys. It is the Meghan Markle fashion show. So, must see Meghan in her fashion element. But again, I don't see too many issues with this particular outfit. We do also have the confirmed reappearance of her engagement ring. I thought I had seen it in a couple of pictures from Jamaica, but this is the first time she's actually reworn this ring that you can actually really tell. And this ring has been missing since very early 2023. In fact, pretty much all of 2023. And apparently it needs to be resized, but usually resizing takes a couple of days and maybe a week or two. It usually doesn't take nine to 12 months. So I think there was definitely something else going on with the ring rather than that sort of ridiculous notion. Okay, so the next thing, they toured the Squamish Little Watt Cultural Center with Youth Ambassadors and Meghan Markle busted out a new Doan coat costing $600. And I can't totally see this look, so I can't totally comment on it, although I will say it is neutral colors because it is black, but it is sort of looks like a rather cute coat. It's called Kensington, but again, can't really get a great view of it. And so it's just all right as far as I can tell. But the big thing here is Meghan Markle in the evening had to change her outfit. So even though they were at an event with a perfectly appropriate coat, she had to change into a different coat. So overall, there are actually seven coats worn on this tour. Yes, seven coats. I really don't think she needed seven coats, but whatever. So to her Valentine's Day dinner, she wore this Laurel Piana reversible $6,000 cashmere coat. Yes, this coat retailed for $5,840. So I always thought this coat was hideous when I first saw it. She actually wore it as part of a suit in New York City when they were doing their little mock tour in 2021. And she paired it with a new Valentino bag costing $2,145. So very expensive little outfit for a date night. You can't totally get the rest of the look, but it looks pretty plain overall. 
And again, that coat was hideous. It was hideous the first time she wore it, probably even more hideous now. Probably fits less now. She's lost a bit of weight since then. So I've always thought that coat was just the ugliest thing. And so next day we start off with, and they did a little visit to Mount Curie Community Center and they shared these pictures on their website. And Meghan Markle is wearing a, a rather appropriate little outfit here with boots, jeans, and it looks like a long blazer and a button up shirt. So this is lovely. It's not super exciting or interesting, but it's not too bad. These boots are new, at least to us that we haven't seen. They're Le Chameau. And I think they are rather cute, actually. I do have to say I do like the boots. But have you noticed a trend yet? You should notice a trend here. If you haven't thus far, of course, we'll cover it at the end. But Megan is here supposedly to support and promote the Invictus Games, yet she's missing something very, very key here. Okay, so next outfit of the day when Harry went down and did the skeleton thing. So Megan wore a new outfit. Not quite sure why she had to change, but here we have an Hermes quilted reversible bomber jacket, which is new and from last season. And I have to say right now that that jacket is hideous. I think that jacket is ugly. I can't believe Meghan Markle spent around $3,000 for that bomber jacket, which especially in some pictures, it just looks bad. It's just really, really unflattering. And the reversible aspect of it is also hideous. It has this really ugly geometrical design in it. And so I personally think it's a pretty ugly piece. And so I don't get the fascination. And, and I'm not sure why she couldn't wear her Calvin Klein coat again. She wore several other coats. Why couldn't she wear a coat that she already packed? But no, she needed a different coat for literally every single outfit. Every single outfit had a different coat. I don't know why because she could have definitely reworn something. She was only there for three days, only there for barely three days. But yes, this Hermes coat, ridiculously overpriced at probably 3000 plus dollars and it is ugly. So, and then she also paired it with La Laguine jeans and a Chemic shoes, a Arzia beanie and scarf. She also had her blender sunglasses again and her Bottega Veneta iPhone case, which costs $250. Okay, so I just want to point this out here real quick. I understand somewhat the desire for a designer phone case, but I also think it's kind of one of those things that's a waste of money for people who just want something with a designer label on it. A phone case to buy is kind of stupid because usually you upgrade your phone about every year or two. And so do you really need a phone case like not going to work with the next phone? I, I just think that's a total and complete waste of money. But again, it's all about showing off the wealth. That's what Meghan Markle is all about. It's not about the Invictus Games. It's showing off how wealthy she is or how wealthy she thinks she is. Anyways, going on, we also have an Ariel Gordon tennis bracelet, which costs $5,500. We have a Burks diamond ring, another Burks diamond ring, and another Burks diamond ring. So one was B chic, one was a stackable snowflake, and one was another stackable yellow and diamond splash ring. So Meghan Markle likes Burks. She has some pieces of their jewelry. They are Canadian. So I guess she's sort of representing Canada there. But Meghan Markle, again, has always really liked as much jewelry as possible, and she tends oftentimes not to wear the same pieces. So let's go to the next look that she had for dinner. And we have, of course, a new coat, a new coat for a three-day tour. The woman needs seven coats, guys. She needs seven different coats for a three-day tour. So Meghan Markle wore this Sennelur new maxi baby alpaca trench coat in ivory. And she also paired it with a Givenchy crossbody bag. So the Givenchy bag is old, but the Sennelur Jacket is new, costing $2,377. In addition to that, it's also front page on their website, in addition to the cape she wore from them as well. I actually think this trench coat is kind of cute, but again, for a very simple tour where she should be conserving her outfits and stuff, she really went full court press, wearing a different coat every single time. Yes, if you go on vacation to a snowy place, you might have two coats, but does anybody really need seven coats? I don't think so. So while it is cute, I think, again, it's sort of a waste of money and just very, very flashy. For again, her purpose here is to do nothing but to smile. That is her sole entire purpose at this event. Now you could compare it with Catherine and William who did their tour 
of Boston before the Earthshot Prize in 2022. But I wouldn't say the difference there is Catherine actually had an engagement that William didn't attend, and so she actually went and did her own thing. William also did his own thing, and Catherine and William also did engagements that paired with his Earthshot Prize in addition to their joint efforts and different projects. And so I think it was a very well balanced. And Catherine, let's see, she wore seven different outfits. So we have their arrival off of the plane. We have their meeting with the Boston mayor. We also have Catherine and William attending a basketball game later in the evening. Catherine for the second day just had two outfits. And then on the third day, she also had two outfits. And so we have a grand total here of seven different outfits. And I could see maybe one or two could have been minimized here, but I think we have a good mix here. We also have Catherine who wore a 74 pound dress that she rented. So next outfit, and I know a lot of people have strong thoughts about this one and I do as well. She's wearing her scent alert baby alpaca cape with a shawl collar and belt and dark camel. And she has paired it with a blue salt sweater, the same jeans she wore earlier, a co-riding boots, Maximera gloves, and Annie Bing earrings. Okay, so she looks absolutely ridiculous in this outfit. It is way, way, way over the top for the event they're at. They're at a curling event. Curling. So it's a very laid back event. You can see it in it, Harry's outfit. He's wearing Eddie Bauer. And he's wearing a, a vest that somehow probably costs about 40 bucks. And she is in a cape that costs $1,345. She looks completely and utterly ridiculous. I imagine there are coats that are much more laid back than what she's wearing. So Catherine's coat that she wore on the tour that's from the same brand, I would say would have been perfectly appropriate at that event because it's subdued. Megan went with a wildly, wildly look at me outfit. <laughs> Like the cape was just way, way, way too much. It was so over the top. And then, and then she added the gloves. The gloves. Oh my gosh. And that just put everything up into 11. That just put all of it up into 11 wearing those gloves. Number one, the color of the gloves and the, the cape do not work together. I think they're ugly together. They remind me of poop or vomit or something or boogers. I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. It's not classy. It's way too much. And granted, yes, they're in an ice rink. It's probably cold. Wear them to your wrist. Why is she wearing elbow length gloves? She looks ridiculous and they don't fit. They're too loose. So they look bad. The queen of wearing gloves is Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. She rocks the glove to look. Meghan Markle, not so much. She does not rock the glove look. In fact, she looks rather terrible in them. I don't think they've ever really worked for her. She's tried them a couple of times. I don't think she looks great in them. But you'll see a lot with Catherine is that she holds the gloves. She doesn't put the gloves on. Again, I feel like the only woman who wears gloves consistently and looks great is Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. She's my preferred glove look and nobody else really had gloves on. She just looked ridiculous. The riding boots aren't bad and but again, it's just so over the top. Everybody else is very casual. And Meghan Markle's outfit does not match the event. Now, what I will say always with Catherine, I don't agree with everything Catherine wears. And sometimes I think Meghan picks out some individually cute pieces. She can't put the outfit together, but she picks some individually cute pieces. But Catherine, what Catherine does, which I think is brilliant, is every single outfit she wears perfectly matches the occasion. She is never overdressed, she is never underdressed. Yes, sometimes her outfit is pricey, but it's never too pricey. Like she has this very great way of being fashionable without being overpriced and looking ridiculous. Catherine does that very, very well. Megan does not. Megan looks ridiculous. Her outfit screams, look at me while she's there to just smile for her husband's event for veterans. So again, Megan is making the Invictus Games all about Megan. And she wants you to look at her. She wants you to look at her. But yeah, that just, oh, that whole look is just awful. It's just really, really awful. It was just way, way, way too much. Again, Catherine's look in the same designer thousand times better. Okay, so next we have the last event. And this one, we didn't really get a great 
full-on shot of the dress from top to bottom, so it's, it's hard to determine how exactly it looked. But Megan wore this Greta Constantine Osif asymmetrical draped gown in Army. And the first thing I thought is that it looked exactly like the dress she wore to the Variety Women of Power event. Why didn't she just wear the exact same dress? The woman probably has so many dresses in her wardrobe. She's there to just smile at her husband's charity event. Why couldn't she wear a older dress? Catherine did that at the Earthshot Prize. And then the second Earthshot Prize, she rented her dress for like 74 pounds or something. And so Megan just looks ridiculous and completely out of touch. And the creme de la creme in this outfit is her Logan Hollowell Baby Reverse Water Drop Natural or Lab Created Diamond Tennis Necklace that cost a grand total of $15,600. Yes, oh yes, this is the second time at the Invictus Games Meghan Markle has debuted a piece of jewelry that cost over fifteen grand. And again, Meghan supposedly doesn't make a dime from the Invictus Games, but, but why is she there wearing such expensive pieces of jewelry? This is a charity event. She has so much jewelry. Why can't she wear her older pieces somewhere in her collection? I mean, she has so much jewelry, like so, so much jewelry. It would have been better just to rewear the Cartier necklace, but no, 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 she did just wear that in Canada at the hockey game. You know, to watch a hockey game, you need a $15,000 necklace. But to go to a charity event, which they are paying for you to fly there on a private jet, costing them probably $55,000 or so, maybe even $100,000. I'm not sure the exact price. She needs a brand new $15,000 necklace. Again, Megan is so out of touch. Her fashion screams this. She very much has a nouveau riche approach to fashion. She has new things almost all the time. Now, granted, we don't see her quite that much, but it seems like she always has new pieces and they're usually ridiculously pricey. So her Hermes bomber coat screams nouveau riche. It's an ugly coat, but why does she wear it? Because it's Hermes and no other reason. That's the only reason she purchased that jacket is that it's Hermes. I'm sure. Just because it's Hermes though, doesn't mean it's a good jacket. It's ugly. It's actually, I think, rather ugly and very unflattering. And so I don't understand why she purchased that except for she wanted an Hermes coat. And how is it that she wore a $300 coat and looked much cuter the day before, and then she purchased a coat that cost 10 times as much for the next day when she could have reworn the coat, worn a similar coat and actually one of her assistants looks so much better in a longer coat and it's a cold day why are you wearing a short coat I just don't understand and so I did do a little look-see as well and it seems like Megan had 14 pieces from American designers and then eight pieces from Canadian designers but four of those eight were pieces of Burke's jewelry that she had before so again looking at what royals do on tour and Harry and Meghan I think part of this whole Invictus tour especially since Charles got sick was an idea of pitching themselves yet again to the monarchy and so Meghan was like oh look but Meghan totally failed here because she failed to promote the brands of Canada so she failed to do that in a lot of respects and I think what's interesting here as well is that in The Hague in 2022, Megan wore a lot of expensive pieces. And then all of a sudden she sort of dialed it back last year at the 2023 games. But this time as well, you could tell that she, she had a moment where it's like, well, I'll wear this, this cheap Calvin Klein coat. But then, oh then, every coat had to be north of two grand. And again, it just screams to me that this is more about fashion it's more about Meghan Markle than it is about actually promoting the Invictus Games. And getting back to the thing that you might have noticed or might have missed, or at least I hope noticed, is that we're missing one very, very key thing here. And that is one single piece of Invictus Games merchandise. Harry did wear a bomber jacket one single time, but Meghan Markle did not wear one single piece of Invictus Games merchandise. Merchandise is the lowest hanging fruit when it comes to promotion. I have my own merchandise that I have made that says Royal News Network on it for when I'm on different assignments and stuff traveling. I want to be able to show off the brand and have people see the brand logo because seeing the brand logo helps with brand recognition. I actually was even at dinner one time and a girl asked me, she's like, 
are you on YouTube? And I was like, yeah. And I was actually able to show her my jacket that had the Royal News Network logo on it. It's the one I designed, it's the one I created for the jacket. And I did that so that when I'm traveling, people can recognize me or it's just that little bit of extra thing where somebody can go, oh, I wonder what Royal News Network is. It's the simplest thing, yet Harry and Meghan now seemingly refuse to do it. It should be automatic that anytime Meghan is at the Invictus Games, she should have a couple of Invictus shirts. She could design the shirts for Pete's sakes, but she just doesn't seem to want to. And I think the only people who continue to suffer is the Invictus Games. And if she goes to any Invictus events, it must be mandatory. You must wear Invictus Games merchandise. You must wear it. But that she refuses to shows you where her heart truly lies. And it's not with promoting the Invictus Games. It's the, about promoting herself. So guys, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of Megan's fashion. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.